A Hamilton County woman has been trying to get an order of protection against her ex-husband for months, but the judge won't allow it. Quintessa Goodwin says she's in fear for her life, as Xavier Harris reports. No one's listening. No one's listening. What is it going to take for this man to actually kill me? Quintessa Goodwin says she and her ex-husband have a four-year-old autistic daughter together, and she says in the past, he has not been much help with her. Her father's never been to an appointment not one time, and she'd be five or six months with a knife. She goes to therapy three times a week. He's never showed up. She says they've been officially divorced since February, and according to the Hamilton County Criminal Sessions Court, he's been in trouble with the law since 2008. Her father's had multiple deep view eyes. That's on record. According to a CPS report, Goodwin and their daughter tested positive for fentanyl after she was in his care. In 2019, we reported on one of Goodwin's arrests where police say he kidnapped and shot at Quintessa while she was pregnant. Did you ever think he would it would come to something like that? No, never, never. Which is why she says she doesn't understand why Judge Michael Dimitru won't grant her an order of protection. The judge is not listening. He does not care. We reached out to the judge's office for a comment, but we were told he could not comment on an open case. However, Chris Clem, attorney at Samples, Jennings, Clem, and Fields, says granting an order of protection is not the easiest. The judges have an incredibly hard decision to make in these cases. Clem says unless there's evidence of threats or abuse, an order of protection can be tricky. I mean, the law says it has to be immediate and present danger. Which Clem says is one reason why the kidnapping and aggravated assault charge doesn't help this case because it happened over two years ago. Again, the statute says immediate and present danger. Even if it was a bad threat nine months ago, that's not necessarily immediate and present danger anymore. Goodwin says she doesn't feel like her voice is being heard. And she says she wants help because she feels if not, her days are numbered. If you could tell the judge right now something, what would you want to tell that judge? Are you trying to kill me? Uh, you about to get, put the gun in his hand to shoot me. He doesn't care about the police. He doesn't care about going to jail. Reporting in Hamilton County, Xavier Harris, Local 3 News.